When he leaves for his shift in the dark of night, he bends his knees to kiss his children and his wife. They hold their breath and say a prayer that he will safely return to their loving care. For to them, a hero has just left their home, one who has sworn to serve and protect his fellow man. All this selfless servant has asked us to do is to follow the law and, when necessary, his command. But now times are a-changing, and so is the common man. Respect for the law has been tossed into a garbage can. The laws that he swore to enforce to protect all our human race were doing fine until they were viewed as a politically offensive crime. We all agree injustice of any kind is a crime, and those who have been found guilty must do prison time. But criminal penalties have been reduced, and repeat offenders uh, are allowed to go free and produce. They return to the streets to commit more crime, but politicians do not want them doing more time. Our police officers are being outgunned, but the cry on the streets from criminals and politicians is to defund. I mean, the rise in criminal activities is a very big issue. And you can't clean up the violence only with a tissue. There are bad people in every profession. They must be removed by the root and offered no concession. But when the order from mayors and governors is to stand down and allow looting, vandalism, physical violence, and even murder to abound, there is nothing our brave men and women in blue can stop because of instructions that come from the top. Our heroes in blue have been handcuffed and ordered to watch the safety of our cities decline. So what are our blues to do? Endure and tolerate buckets of liquid thrown on them? Their police cars ransacked and set afire? Being spit on and pelted with rocks and other dangerous objects? The total disregard of police barriers and curfews? Threatened with firearms, serious injury, being blinded by laser beams and the murder of their brothers and sisters? They wear their badge with a black ribbon across, for so many of their brave buddies have been lost. These funerals are tearing our country apart, trying to appease the bleeding heart. Yet, gallantly our strong men and women in blue, they fight on to keep their word, even though everything seems so absurd. For they have taken the oath to serve and protect all families, even their enemies, as their own, without so much as a groan. So what keeps them strong? Knowing their training has saved a life? Tracking down drug cartels, human traffickers, murderers, and, and bringing closure to families that have been suffering for so long? being the voice for abused innocents that cannot speak for themselves, the joy of delivering a baby. All of that is what keeps them strong and fostering good public relationships with communities and individuals, answering the dreaded domestic violence call, volunteering through sports to help children in all matters of good citizenship, radiating responsibility, dependability, honesty, and integrity. Qualities we should all aspire to. Many police officers are veterans who volunteer to serve and protect our country against all enemies, foreign and domestic, who are hell-bent on tearing down, toppling, and destroying our foundation. 
some joint other branches of law enforcement to secure the safety of our countries at our borders. Most went home and became peace officers to serve the city and state in which they were born. All of them, out of gratitude for the blessing they were given to live in the greatest country on earth, the United States of America. <laughs> Our blue bloods bleed red, my friend. Red, just like you and me. But it's a true blood, a strong blood, a brave blood that will fight until the end. So when his shift is over, he returns home to the warmth of those he loves and removes his bulletproof vest. <laughs> the welcoming sound of Velcro puts his family's hearts at rest until the next day starts. So the next time you see police officers Greet them with a big smile and tell them you've got their backs and thank them for all they do for all of us. For they would give their lives for you and those you love because they too have to answer to the man above.